Today I'm going to talk about how I implemented Live Server on my Windows uh, Windows 7 desktop and used it with WAMP. So um, the first thing I did was um, I went ahead and downloaded uh, Node.js and installed it on my computer and that was very easy. I just went to uh, I just googled it and I went to this website right here and for my computer I just went to uh, release and I chose like 4.1.1 and then um, I went. I downloaded that, which I downloaded from my computer. I wanted the the 64-bit MSI, so I downloaded that and installed it. Once it's installed, you'll have this uh, in your programs. Um, you'll also have a command line, in which you, you have to use both at different times. Um, let's see where we're at. Node. Here's the node.js command line, and here's node.js. So anyway, what you do is then once you get uh, that installed, then the next thing I tried to do was go ahead and install Live Server, which is what we're going to talk about here in just a moment. But um, the first time I tried it to to install it through my command line. Um, it didn't work out. I was getting, um, you know, errors. But I found out what I had to do was install um, Visual Studio first. So I went went to Microsoft and and, and I looked up Visual Studio, um, and you can just Google it Visual Studio download and you know you can download it free um, let's see download Visual Studio I can't remember where I got that I guess it was here no I guess it's the same place anyway I'm pretty sure this, you know, that's where I got it anyway I downloaded the uh, Visual Studio coder code and um, you know went from there once I got that installed then once I did that I could go in and run the live server installation through the node.js command prompt and so all I had to do for that was I went to this site right here and I copied this right here and I got the clone or get the clone I should talk somebody must have been from the south and they did this get clone and I copied that and then I went into my node.js command prompt and I pasted It's not going right now, but let's put that. okay. When I get my command prompt, I clicked paste, then I hit enter and I ran it. So once I did that, I changed directory to my live server, which this was installed on in my Chris Chandler directory here, and then I went and I installed it globally and let's see here um, once I had that I was pretty much good to go so um, let's see what else did I do um, there's a few different things I did here let's see here Oh, I installed. I went to this page right here. I want to check that out. 
um, even before I did that I, I installed these node.js applications with VS Code which I thought was pretty cool just go down through here and start running these uh, commands and I'm not sure if that helped but you know it doesn't hurt so um, anyway just go there and and once I did I installed this live dot and dash server dot com and I was able to um, well what I would do is what I would do what I do is I can go to um, the directory where I work so for my WAMP server I've got um, my server installed on WAMP 3 okay so I can go I'm just changing directories um, I'm in my root directory now click DIR I can see that WAMP 3 is my the directory I want to be in so I change directory to WAMP 3 and once I'm in WAMP 3 I can run live server so I just type in live server and it will open up this page right here and it will then show it will show my WAMP installation and I can see all my websites that I that I work on so let's just say you know um, yeah, that's not a great one but anyway uh, let's say there's this website right here www.hartog and I'm going to go over here and work on it in um, Sublime. So I just go open folder. I find that d directory. Let's see here. That's hard time. There it is. Okay. And so, okay, so right here is the file, and let's just say I wanted to make a quick change to it, and I wanted to see what that looks like live. So um you know I added a h1 tag and then I click control s which is save should be saving <laughs> I thought I had this running uh, let's see make sure we saved it code went. I'd have to just put it in there and see what happened. It should be the Laurel Ipsum decor. We'll just put that testing in there. We'll hit control S and see it just instantly changes it in the browser for you. So it's just the convenience of being able to make changes instantly um, and see those changes instantly happen in the browser so I mean I just thought it was pretty cool 
if you guys like it that's cool so that's it just want to show you what I was doing um, I'll talk to you later